Okay, guys, welcome to tonight's True Life Tribe Wednesday night hangout. I'm your host, Angie Zambrano, and I welcome you. Thank you for taking the time to be here. I know that we have our families, we have our children. Uh, it's a school night. So thank you, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, before I get started with tonight's topic, which is going to be on your powerful mind, okay, and how we can paint our futures with the power of our minds. And so before I get into that, I just want to share a little bit about myself, about Dave and I, our family, um, our history, working online, um, our journey into being entrepreneurs, where we came from, and uh, kind of how it all got started. So um, if this is your first time coming on the True Life Tribe Hangout, welcome. And um, let me share a little bit about myself. So. Um, Dave and I got started online just about, uh, just about four years now. So it was about, I'm pretty sure it was back in 2012 is when we started. So, uh, when we really got serious and, uh, started trying to make our way into the online business world. So, um, got started back then and, you know, we, we really had a lot of inner work to do. We were not, um, we we're not in the right mindset for six for succeeding online. We really, we felt broke inside. We felt that, you know, we were going to be struggling financially for the rest of our lives that, um, you know, anything that we wanted to do, um, in order to break free from being, you know, from struggling paycheck to paycheck. And, um, actually I'm going to have to show you guys this, this is my old EBT card. So I'm not kidding when I tell you we were broke, not just, you know, we were broke financially, but we were broke in our minds too. And we were, we were struggling, you know, we were on food stamps, we were, you know, getting um, government aid for different things. And um, David was working, but we were still struggling. So um, trying to make ends meet and, uh, you know, not doing well, not happy, not living the life we wanted. We, we couldn't travel. We didn't get nearly as much time together as we wanted. And, um, you know, the little time we had was spent trying to recuperate so that, you know, we could get back to the busy week again. And, uh, you know, all these dreams that we had of traveling and, and we, we love Mexico and we always wanted to travel and be in Mexico and we could just never have the, the financial means or the time to do it. So, um, you know, that is really what I want to talk to you guys about tonight is, how to move from being in that that space, you know, with like that mental space that doesn't serve you, that doesn't help you to move forward in life, doesn't help you to accomplish your dreams. Um, and when I say dreams, you know, I'm talking about the things that keep you up at night, the things that that you really want, the things that you truly want in your life, and and you really feel that they're out of your reach right now. And I want to show you guys tonight how to move from, uh, you know, how to shift your focus on thoughts that are helping you and move into thoughts that can help you to achieve those dreams, to actually see them manifested in your life, right? Not just, you know, oh gosh, one day, you know, or, you know, I'll never have that. I want to help you to move how to have, I want to help you to shift your thinking so that you can move from hopeful and wishful thinking and daydreaming to actually manifesting your dreams. And so, it wasn't until Dave and I applied what I'm going to show you guys tonight that we were able to start actually manifesting our dreams. And, you know, for me, I, I kind of tend to get a little frustrated when I hear those terms. Okay. Because I think they get thrown around a lot. I think a lot of people talk about manifest your dreams and the law of attraction and, you know, just, you know, feel things and, and go to the feeling place and you're going to, have it manifested to you. And I just, I want you guys to know that it's real stuff. Okay. It's, this is not like wishy-washy, hippy-dippy stuff. It, it's real. It's real stuff. And when you really, really apply it to your life, you really can manifest your dreams. You know, you can take what's, what's going on in, in between your ears and, and what you're, you're dreaming about having in your life. You can make it a reality. So, so yeah, David and I, 
uh, couldn't make that transition until we applied this that I'm going to show you tonight. Okay. And, and now we no longer have to be on government aid. We no longer have to struggle paycheck to paycheck. You know, we just went out tonight and, and we needed a desk for me. We needed, you know, um, curtains for our dining room. You know, we needed all these different things and it was like, yeah, let's go get them. You know, um, this is, you know, different things like that. It's just small things, but they matter, right? It's like being able to go to the store and, you know, you don't have to worry about stress when you get up to the counter that when you slide that card, it's going to get declined. I know you guys know what I mean. I know you've been there <laughs> or, you know, it's like, oh, shoot, you know, take that off, you know, take those five things off because, you know, some bill came in and you can't pay for everything. You know, it's, I've been there. 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 Like I've had to put whole grocery carts back because somehow the money wasn't there. So I feel you and I've been there. Um, you know, yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought. I got off thinking about those painful memories of having to put whole shopping carts back and, you know, having to walk out of the store just like humiliated. But so you guys, I'm going to show you how to make that shift. And, and, and Dave and I, as a, that's what I was saying was that Dave and I have t made a total life transformation. And, and I, it's by no exaggeration that I say that, you know, if you'd have told the people that we were, you know, four years ago, uh, that we'd be in the position that we are now making what we're making now and living the life that we're living and living, you know, stress-free and worry-free and, being able to provide for our children the way that we want to, being able to vacation like we want to, um, traveling, you know, to a new state, a new place um, every three months. If you'd have told us that that was going to be our reality, you know, four years from the time of where we were, I would have, I don't, I would have probably cried or I would have, you know, thought that person was a little nuts. I wouldn't have believed it. I wouldn't have, honestly. And I wouldn't have believed it because I needed to make some huge shifts in my mind, okay? So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. I'm gonna get into how you can shift your thinking. And I'm gonna give you some examples of where you might be at and how you can take you know, those common thoughts that, that you know, probably a lot of people are thinking out there, probably you're thinking them too, how you can take those common thoughts and um, and move them, you'd shift them into a thought that is going to actually help you to feel empowered, help you to feel motivated, help you to feel like taking action towards your dreams. Okay. So how many of you out there are feeling, you know, are having the thoughts of things like, I hate my job, or I'm so tired of being broke all the time, or I'm broke. How about um, things like, you know, I can't ever afford anything for my kids. You know, um, I can't ever take my family out for a nice dinner. I can't ever, you know, go on vacations when I want to. I can't ever, um, you know, I can't live wherever I want to. You know, I'll never be able to live where I want to. So these are just some examples of the kind of thinking that, sets the stage for limiting yourself. And also what I really wanna share with you tonight is that how we paint pictures in our minds when we say things. So what I wanna show you in this video, in this hangout is how to be careful and be conscious of the mental images that you're painting in your mind. Now, if you had seen my earlier um, email that I sent out, I had sort of painted you a picture of yourself at the beach in Cancun, Mexico, laying in the hot sun and then swinging your feet off the chair and digging your feet into the hot sand and then, you know, stretching your arms overhead and just with a huge sigh of relief and then going down to the water into the tropical warm waters and just swimming around and feeling absolutely free inside. And if you go with me on that thought, you can just get your, your mind automatically starts painting a mental picture, right? It starts painting that image in your mind. And so this is that power of the mind that I want to share with you tonight. So, so understand that 
when you're saying to yourself, I hate my job, or, you know, I never have any money for anything I want to do, you know, or I'm always broke. Think about the mental image that you're painting in your mind. What, what kind of images it's going to set you up with in your life for you to be thinking about and for you to be imagining yourself in those situations. So you have to begin to shift over, shift your thinking over into mental images, painting mental images on purpose, right? Everything in, in if, if anything that's going to make you successful, you need to be doing it on purpose, right? If you're doing something without purpose and it's and it's just unconscious, it it's not going to take you anywhere, right? Because you're not doing it on purpose. You're not doing this to achieve something. So make sure that it's that you are having purposeful thought, okay? And purposefully create mental images, paint mental images in your mind of you succeeding, of you doing well, of you having what you want. So for example, I hate my job can be shifted over. It can be switched over to something positive like I'm seeking new opportunities to do meaningful work that makes me feel satisfied with my life. So much such a brighter picture in your mind, right? How about, um, how about I never have time, I never have time, okay? I'm seeking ways to make more time for the things that I care about in my life. I'm going to make more time for my family. I'm going to find time for my family. There will be time for my family. You can always reach for something that paints an image of something positive for yourself and that makes you feel empowered rather di rather than disempowered. So you can say things like, um, you know, I'm broke. You can say, my income is low right now, but I'm finding ways to increase my income. And it's like, I mean, I just right away, I feel like it paints such a different picture in my mind when I say that. When I say, you know, I'm finding ways to increase my income all the time, you know, or I'm seeking ways to, in, to or my income is low now, but I'm seeking ways to increase my income rather than I'm broke. I feel like when I say I'm broke, it's just like a, it's like a brick wall. It's like, it goes nowhere. And, and I just see myself broke, like just stuck and broke. And I, there's nothing I can do. But when I say my income is low right now, but I'm seeking ways to increase my income. I feel like, okay, there's an, there's an open door of opportunity here. I can move forward. I can do something about this. Right. And there's, there's a bright image in my mind of positivity and good things that I can do. And there's opportunity and there's, there's activity and there's action to be taken here. Right. So, so really pay attention to, you know, your mind is a powerful tool. And it can be, it really can be used to destroy you or it can be used to, um, to cause you to step into your life of your dreams. It can help you to manifest the things that you really want, or it can totally hold you back, totally limit you in your life and, and cause you to go nowhere. You know, I, I did it myself. I spent, you know, eight years being um, chronically depressed. I, I never went to the doctors and got medication, but, you know, I, I did everything I could to heal myself. And I actually did without doctors, without medication, pulled myself completely out of um, a very long eight years of chronic depression. So, um, you know, I can, I can very gladly and very with very much gratitude and appreciation say that I'm healthy today, that I no longer suffer from chronic depression. So, I mean, I was for a very long time, you know, I, I, cried every day. I had really like, I had it bad, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I'm very grateful that I can say now that I'm healthy and strong and stronger than ever before. And, and, uh, you know, it had to do with making those mental shifts. I had to start painting new, I had to start painting new mental images in my mind. Um, seeing myself succeeding, seeing myself healthy, seeing myself 
having time for my family, seeing myself at home with my family, you know, not having to leave the house and get, you know, work doing something that wasn't meaningful to me. And um, not having to be, you know, I was able to be home with my kids. And I saw myself doing that. I had to believe that and, and know that it was possible for me. And so using the power of my mind and painting those mental images of myself succeeding, of myself having what I dreamt of, I've been able to achieve it. And, and if you apply that, you can do that too. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to be struggling financially. You don't have to be living a limited life. You don't have to, you know, only have some, you know, ridiculous two weeks of vacation a year. You don't, you just don't. And, and it's crazy when you get on the outside of it, when you get to a place where you're not living that lifestyle anymore, where you, you do have time freedom, you do have financial freedom. It's just like, there's this whole other reality, this whole other world out there that we're kind of, you know, it's almost like escaping the matrix. You know, Dave and I are matrix fans, you know, um, always have been. And I think that's probably why, you know, we were, um, I think that's why we fought so hard to escape that, that lifestyle. We fought so hard to not, you know, stay in the nine to five grind. We fought really hard to not, um, you know, have our family get divided and for our kids to stay homeschooled. You know, I've worked off and on small, small jobs. I've done, you know, a couple of bakery jobs and things like that. And um, I even, I was, I was going to go to school for nursing. And then I decided that I didn't want to participate in the whole medical thing, you know, and, um, and uh, then I, still felt like I wanted to do something that was, you know, compassionate and caring for others and things like that. So I went to school to be a yoga teacher and I taught yoga for a while. I still love to teach yoga. I just, you know, it's um, more of like a hobby now. I don't have to worry about making a paycheck from it. I can really focus on my passion there. And, um, and, you know, so, you know, I did those things, but it was really important for us to keep our family together, to keep our kids homeschooled, to um, keep us out of the system and get us out of the system. And, you know, watching movies like The Matrix reminded us, you know, it would remind us like, hey, wake up, like, don't fall asleep here. Don't get caught up in being a slave, right? It really is modern slavery. It really is like, this is a new, another age of slavery. And, and um, it is nothing short of that. And, it's really scary how much of slaves we can be and really not know it. You know, I, there's that, I could probably make a whole hangout on that, but, um, but th those were things that, you know, really pushed us into um, really working hard to make the mental, you know, shifts and paint new mental images for ourselves um, so that we could actually step into freedom, you know, real freedom, like time freedom financial freedom. We weren't going to just go live, you know, like on a farm somewhere and live off the grid, you know, that's another way of gaining your freedom. But we wanted to be active in the world, you know, be where we wanted to be, not have to live somewhere remote, um, and, and really have the life that we want on our terms, right? So begin to make those mental shifts for yourself. You know, if you're finding yourself painting mental images of yourself, you know, always struggling, um, stuck, you know, unhappy, unsatisfied, you know, begin to notice those things, you know, um, actually, I was going to give you, you know, uh, go ahead and sit down and write out five things, start with five things, five things that uh, you feel are pretty dominant thoughts that are going on in your mind that you feel like those thoughts in particular are kind of driving you nuts and making you feel pretty bad. So write those down and then use this technique to, you know, um, try it yourself on your own thoughts and switch those thoughts over to something that is empowering, something that makes you feel like there's hope and there's optimism and there's, you know, um, and then, and that it's painting a mental image for you. This really helped me, you know, cause I know that there's, um, you know, just verbally switching things over. But when it got, when I, when I learned this and I learned that I could actually, you know, paint a mental image with the words that I was saying, that really 
helped me because it was giving me that, you know, I was paying attention to that visual that was happening in my mind as I was saying these things, as I was speaking my reality into existence, you know, as I was saying what I wanted, I could paint that mental image, right, along with those words. So go ahead and try this with those, you know, write down five things, five dominant thoughts that you think that are, you know, the ones that are bogging you down the most that you feel like are really holding you back from moving forward and getting the things that you really want in your life and, um, you know, shift them into that new mental image that's seeing you succeeding. It's seeing you reaching what you want. And um, so that's what I wanted to give you guys tonight was, um, you know, for you to see the power of your mind and for you to see that you really do paint out in your mind's eye, you know, where what you're going to be experiencing, what you're going to be having in your life, what you're going to be thinking and feeling throughout your days. And, and, and most importantly, it's, defi it's defining the actions that you will or won't take that are going to either move you away from or towards the things that you want. So, so yeah, do that with those five thoughts and see if that doesn't create some change in you. See if that doesn't shift your attitude about what is possible for you and what you can have in your life. Um, so that pretty much wraps that up. And, um, that's, that's what I wanted to give you guys tonight. And I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about uh, the True Life Tribe. And if you, whether you've been around for a while on our list or you're brand new, um, the vision with the True Life Tribe is that we're all about family freedom, abundance, and adventure, okay? We're all about family because we value having our family together. We've always been homeschoolers ever since our kids were born. And um, we've always fought to keep our family together. Um, when the nine to five was pulling us apart, you know, we, that's when we just like had had enough, began seeking ways to make money online, make money from home. And, um, you know, it, family was our priority. And, and keeping our family's relationships healthy was a priority. We weren't going to have a broken home. So family and then freedom, you know, freedom is be having the ability to do what you want, when you want, where you want, and with whom you want, right? Not having all these limitations and restrictions and being told that, you know, you can only have two weeks of vacation and this kind of crap that, like, when your newborns are born, you know, you can't have more than, like, a month or whatever, you know, it's just so outrageous. Like, family is important, right? You know? So freedom comes second to family. And then abundance, right? We don't want to just be free. We don't want to just have our family together. We want to live happily. We want to we want to have an abundance of things, right? We want to have the house we want. We want to have the drive the car we want. We want to um, be able to eat healthy food, right? We want to. That was a big one for us, man. You know, back when I was doing this stuff, EBT stuff, I was, you know, it was very frustrating for me to have to walk into the store, and I couldn't afford to buy the nice foods that I wanted to buy for my family. I really couldn't. And, and like, I couldn't afford it. Nowadays we go and, and I'm shopping like every day I shop and I'm, it's like a hundred dollars here, a hundred dollars there. And like, I don't even have to look at that. I don't have to worry. Right. I don't need to like, Oh my God. Like, you know, there was a time when we were living on $20 a day. It was 20 bucks a day for a family of six. That was hard. <laughs> that that was hard times. Like I'm talking breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 20 bucks a day for six people. That, those were hard times. Those were like top ramen times. So I feel you if you're there. <laughs> but, you know, um, abundance, right? There's no reason that you shouldn't have the, the abundance that you want in your life, right? The financial abundance, to be able to have options, right? Money isn't just Oh, I've got a lot of money. I can now I can buy diamonds and cars and ugh. that's like yesterday's rich people. Okay. Today's rich people, the modern rich person is just free. They have options. They can travel. They can go take classes and courses and go to seminars that help them improve their lives. They can take their family on vacations, go travel. We just spent a year in Mexico and now we're back over in Michigan to be with our spiritual guide because that's what's important to us, right? But we have the freedom to do that. If we want to just go live in Mexico for a year, 
you know, go go live there and live on the beach. We lived in a beachfront villa for a whole year just because we wanted to. And now we live in, in Michigan again because we wanted to. We don't have to be here. We can be anywhere in the world. And in fact, anywhere in the world, we're going to be in Nashville in three months. So uh, actually less than three months now, around April 21st, I'm pretty sure. But uh, And we'd love to have you guys there with us. So that's going to be another company event. And we're just like, that's going to be so, ex so exciting. And we're going to have so much fun. It's going to be a blast. I love my company events. That's like, uh, so much fun. Um, hanging out with like thousands of other entrepreneurs. Oh, I love it. I get so excited when they're coming, you know? Um, but anyway, back on track, you know, abundance, and there's no reason that you shouldn't have the abundance that you want in your life. Okay. No reason whatsoever. And whatever abundance you want in your life, it's totally possible for you. I'm telling you that I've been, you know, I've been on EBT. I've done the whole thing. I've, I've had to walk into, you know, like government aid offices and sit there and fill out paperwork. And, you know, I've had to do that. Um, but I'm telling you, you know, it's not where I'm at now. And I'm telling you, it's possible for you too. So begin to make those mental shifts. Okay. So family, freedom, abundance, and adventure. Okay. Dave and I, we love adventure. We're like, we love adventure time. We like to watch adventure time with our kids. Um, but we love taking our family on adventures. Actually, when we were out in Mexico, we used to go up to the States, go up to San Diego, and we just went wild, like going to all these theme parks. And um, it was just crazy, a crazy year. We were just like, had all these memberships and just like hit up every single theme park. And we have so much video like on, on our blog, there's so much video of us just like hitting up all these theme parks. We love to just go on adventures everywhere. We love to travel. We've been cross country in the US like, what is it, three times now? We've like gone to, you know, Nashville. We've been to North Carolina. We've been to where else? We've been to, I don't know, like it's so many, I can't even count anywhere. We've just traveled so much. We love to get on the road. We love to do road trips. We love to take our children on road trips so they can experience things, especially as homeschoolers. That's like, that's the best for homeschooling, you know, is being able to travel and show your kids, you know, actually show them the different states and different places. And, you know, especially spending a year in Mexico is cool. You know, um, they got to really experience uh, Mexican culture on a deep level. Um, of course, Dave's Mexican, so it's in the family, but, you know, it was good for them to really experience Mexican culture, you know, firsthand. So, um, but yeah, family freedom, abundance, and adventure. That's like, we're, that's us, you know, and, and that's our vision for the True Life Tribe is to help, um, actually our vision for the year is to help 100 families, 100 families to reach 5K in their online business um, and, and step into their life of family, you know, having their time with their family, their freedom, their abundance, and their adventure in their life. You know, um, we want to get 100 people to 5K and we're prepared to do that, guys. We've got um, we've got the 5K to 5K to Freedom Coaching Program. I gotta get get my tongue around that. <laughs> the 5K to Freedom Coaching Program, and um, it's showing you A to Z how we run our business, how we run our online business, how you can do it exactly how you can do it for yourself. And this is something that Dave and I uh, put together. We put it together while we were in Mexico, and um, and we had a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. We put our heart, soul, and sweat and everything, tears into this. So um, there's no tears in the coaching program, but sometimes there was tears working hard. But um, but yeah, you know, we put we poured ourselves into this. We poured our hearts into it um, because we want you to succeed. We want you to be able to start an online business and actually generate an income doing it. We want you to be able to have the freedom, the, the time and financial freedom that we have, right? Um, it's totally doable, guys. It's totally doable. And um, yeah, so, so you know, if you guys are ready to get signed up with us, you can just click that button down there. It's like right there, you'll see it. And it's actually only $7 to get started. So for $7, you get in for 14 days, you get to see what is going on in the back office of Empower Network. 
and um, that's the the system that we use to run our online business and once you get in there guys okay it's very important that you hear me on this once you get in there and you click to sign up with us you pay your seven dollars for your 14 day trial um, it's very very important that you know this okay you know that I'm going to call you I'm going to call you, okay? <laughs> I'm going to call you because I want to help you get your business started. I want to walk you through the next steps to getting your business up and running, okay? And it's very, very important that you know that, that I'm going to call you. So expect that, okay? If you click this button down here and you decide that it's your time to start moving towards your freedom, that it's your time to start having the, the time with your family, the freedom, the abundance, and, and to really live a life of adventure and enjoy your life, you know, if it's your time, get started. It's $7, guys, $7. And if you get in and you get, get looking at things and you start to see things how they are and it doesn't resonate with you, if you're not into it, if you're not at the right place to start an online business, once you get in and you look at stuff and you just make that decision, you can get a full refund, okay, before the 14-day mark. So $7, I mean, what are we at for Starbucks coffee right now? It's, it's gotta be near $7 for, for a big one, you know? But, um, you know, buy a couple of Starbucks coffees and, and you're at seven bucks, you know, what is seven bucks? So $7 so you can get in and you can look around and you can see if this is for you, okay? So um, again, if you get signed up tonight right there for seven bucks if you get signed up with us i'm going to call you okay within 24 hours after you sign up and i'm going to give you a call and then i'm going to walk you through what the next steps are for you to get started in your business and after you complete those next steps i'm going to give you access to the true life tribe team site where you're going to get access to the 5k to freedom coaching program as well as some other bonuses two other bonuses uh, that you're going to get access to just for being a True Life Tribe team member, okay? And guys, that training in there in the True Life Tribe team site is it's $650 worth of training, okay? That's what we normally charge for that coaching, for that coaching program in there uh, and the bonuses included. But we're going to give it to you absolutely free just for being a True Life Tribe team member, okay? Because we want you guys to succeed. We want you guys to be able to get to your freedom. We want you guys to be able to quit your jobs. We want you to be able to be home with your families. We want you to be able to be with your kids. We want you to not have to tell your kids no when they want something at the store, okay? And that that's touchy for me because it makes me tear up a bit because I know that feeling. I know what that's like. I know what it's like to struggle. I do. I, I found this today in my wallet. I found it from, you know, back then when we were going through this stuff and I was like, you know what, I'm going to put that on the hangout tonight because for real guys, like for real, you don't, you don't got to do this. You don't have to do this. You don't, it's, you know, you're, you're beyond that. You have so much more in you than that. And I know that I did, and I know I still have more. I know I can still do more and you can do more and you can have what you want. You really can. So, you guys go ahead and click the button below and i can't wait to meet you i can't wait to um, have you on our team i can't wait to have a new team member and to help you reach your 5k and you guys 5k is just the beginning it's just the beginning you know that 5k is where you can kind of break free right it's where you can it's like a freedom point um, and Freedom Point was actually like our original name, you know, and we just transitioned over to the True Life Tribe because it's really, uh, it really encapsulates our vision. And so, you know, Freedom Point is where you can, it's, it's your point of freedom, you know, and, and uh, Dave had that experience with uh, leaving his corporate job where he stood up that day and said, I quit. And, you know, it was like a look of terror and horror on the people's faces that, you know, that he was standing in the room with, you know, as he said, I quit because he finally got the courage to say I quit, <laughs> you know, and he came home to me playing um, Don't Fear the Reaper 
Uh, you guys probably f are familiar with that song, but he had it blasting in the car and he brought home a bouquet of roses and he was like, I did it. And it was like, that was like the most amazing day of our lives. So I know you guys can have your freedom point too. I know you can break free. I know that you guys can have what you dream of having in your lives that you, that anything and everything that you dream of is possible for you. So I will close with that tonight. And once again, you guys, it's just $7. Okay. $7 right there. You can click that button to get started with us. And I look forward to meeting you. I look forward to showing you how to get your business up and running. So uh, with that, I will see you guys next Wednesday. And um, in between now and then, I'll be sending out my regular emails. And I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.